library. We're taking you somewhere really fun. But first, coffee. Coffee. We'll what tell you coffee? all about it once we have coffee <laughs> in hand. Cheers, coffee's acquired. <gasps> Okay, we're going to Springbrook National Park. We're very blessed that we are surrounded by so many water holes and bushwalks. It doesn't feel like a long drive because there's so many scenic views. There's just so much to look at. We were going to cut through Mwoolumba and go the back roads because they've opened the borders today. But now we're a bit like, hmm. What are we, we going to do? risk it? I think we're just going to go straight up the highway. Highway is a good idea. Oh my gosh, we went the back way one time and we had to turn <laughs> around. Oh my gosh. It was gosh. like a 45 minute drive. There was yeah. no signs to say that it actually blocked the border. So the time we got there, I was wondering why all these cars were parked on the side of the road. And um, yeah. So we're not going to do that again. We're going to go the highway and we'll see you when we get to Springbrook. And we'll take you for lunch. We'll show you where we go for lunch. Oh, we'll take you guys for lunch. And hopefully we might find some market stalls or something along the way so we can... Um... <gasps> that reminds me. We've got to get some cash out. All right. Let's hope there's some market stalls along the way because... Uh... We are ready. <laughs> we are rolling in the money. No, I want to support... We always support small businesses and market stalls and get the fresh fruit and veggies. And also we want to encourage the usage of cash. So, um, let's go let's shopping go. with our 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> just pulled up to a dam and it's absolutely beautiful and really quiet and they have toilets but you should check out the view that we're looking at right now excited because we saw a organic produce sign on the side of the road and we're like yes let's go buy some fresh fruit and veggies and um a bit deflated now because we got there and it's closed but we thought we'd tell you anyway on the way to Springbrook there's a cute little store it's called not grow produce but it has a really cute sign saying plant kindness harvest love it's a Monday so maybe they're not open on Monday so um just be prepared that they might not be full and you know what we just got so excited because it's so lush and it's so green and we've had a lot of rain lately and everything's just like vibing isn't it we we're like oh my god this drive is so beautiful like exactly what we needed yeah. especially after the full moon i felt like oh no the last few days were just so flat and then yeah. today it's like woo. we prepared to vlog yesterday and then the vibes were really weird that day if you don't follow us on instagram we shared how the day was just really funky good morning or afternoon. Oh, yeah. Afternoon oh, now. Good afternoon. It's okay. Been a big day already. That just shows you how this day's going. <laughs> Nothing has gone to plan. So we're gonna head home and not vlog today. We're gonna vlog tomorrow. So we decided not to vlog that day and vlogging today, obviously. But I am so happy that we've chosen to vlog today because we're just feeling a lot better and the energy is there. Hey. Yeah. Like it. Okay, you know what's really funny? We haven't even parked the car. We've actually pulled over because we're so excited. Turn the car off because she's noisy. Sorry. We just came around the corner, which is the entry into the um, national park, and we've just gone. Why? Because the smells, the birds, it's so lush and green. fresh and green. Because and we had a bit of rain the other day. I feel so lucky to have this not far away. Guaranteed, if you're feeling a little bit like, mm, Go for a walk in nature and you'll just feel like you're just recharged. I know. Smelling the fresh air, listening to the birds. To the birds. 
you forget how incredibly nourishing getting out amongst nature is and I'm not meaning just like a little walk in the park like actually getting out in the forest amongst all the canopy like wow it's just untouched I was I think literally that's... just thinking that yeah I'm like it feels untouched, untouched. I'm really excited to get to I know get I think it. that's the thing we both just had the biggest smiles on our faces and I was like I'm pulling over it's just too nice not to share with you guys mm. I want everyone who watches this to get out here and get amongst nature because this is just Oh, I'm just looking at a bird. The bird caught my eye just sitting on him. Uh, well, we haven't even got to the waterfall yet, so mozzie. Oh, while we're talking about mozzies. <gasps> oh, you put ow. one on your shirt. Get, it. get out. Uh, get out. We bought ourselves. It's called a bug stick. How cute is that? And it's natural. It's by Raw Nature. And it's vegan. It smells actually quite good, considering, you know, bug. It smells very natural. Mm -hmm. It smells a bit like sandalwood, actually. Oh, is that what it is? Oi, anyway. is it, I'm just going to chase a bug out of the car with it. Yeah, I'd get out too if I were you. No but. sulfates, cruelty-free, no aluminium, vegan, no parabens. I'm excited about this. And let's go find a car park, Kerry. Let's do it. So there's all different sections that you can go to. Natural bridge section, canyon lookout, all different lookouts. If you jump on the Springbook website, I'm pretty sure you can grab a map from there. Oh, I really want to see yeah, this no, lookout. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, look at the lookout. Guys, here is a really nice little reminder. Please respect our planet. We've chosen the natural bridge circuit because it's only one kilometer track and allow up to one hour walking time. I don't think it's going to take it one hour. It's going to take <laughs> no. Not that long. Well, actually, the way we film it will. Oh, true. And stay on the track because you know us. Look at these gorgeous trees. Like, seriously. There's a glowworm cave here. It's only 400 meters. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we just dropped our water bottle. Oh. But the lid just popped off and it didn't even break. <laughs> Random. That's so weird. <laughs> I just want to show you how easy and beautiful this track is. It's all sealed, fenced. And um, not that you can hear, because I've got We've windshield. Got Sonny's hairstyle on today. <laughs> you know what? I'll show you. Oh, we got a camera on a camera. Woo! So we've got Sonny's hairstyle on, so hopefully you can hear Kerry talking. I just wanted to say that um, you can hear the beautiful water from the falls. It's just beautiful. There are steps, so yeah. we've got railings here. Oh, okay. Oh, here it go. gets steep. Well, you just come to this part where it's very steep, so if you're not into rock climbing as such or steep steps, this is a bit that's a bit steep and a bit slippery because it has been raining a lot lately. So um, if you're not into that, be very careful along here. Wear some good shoes. Only one. Okay, if you saw a big fat March fly on your elbow, your instant reaction would be like snapping it off. And Kerry's like, oh, get the phone out, take a picture. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I couldn't tell from where I was. I was like, that's gonna bite you any second. She's right, mate. She's my little friend, the March fly. I actually took a video of it, guys. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, you get to see that. Look oh. at it. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that March fly is following us everywhere, make sure you slap it if it is. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? She said, if it's on me, make sure you slap it if it is. Guess where it is. There. Is it on me? <laughs> Get it off, Kerry! It's technically not on you. Yeah. Renee, check this beautiful bridge out. Cartwheel time! <laughs> Woo! the last 
last few days so all the rivers are just really running fast and clean and I feel very lucky to be experiencing the rainforest how it is right now after all that rain and if you um come across like a bridge don't forget to stop and look out at what the bridge is giving you like, and maybe do a cartwheel if you're an A. Yeah. If your name's Renee do a cartwheel. Oh you should tag us in your adventure cartwheels. Oh yes. Cute. Anyway we haven't even got to the waterfall yet we're getting oh there. Oh my god let's go. <laughs> Literally everywhere you look is just stunning. We now have to walk up one, two flights of stairs to go up to the top of it. Yeah, we're gonna walk up these steps now. Let's go. We're on top of the waterfall this time. We'll show you what it looks like on top of the waterfall. Gosh, we got all the angles on this little circuit natural bridge walk. Ready? Best waterfall ever. Woo! Definitely recommend doing the natural bridge circuit. There's no swimming, but it's just this little loop and it's seriously enough. You get a waterfall, you get glowworms, bats, literally, and <laughs> birds. We haven't come across any birds yet. No, I was no, telling Kerry that birds? it's Monday, they're probably at work. I feel like it's time for lunch, Renee. All right, time to find a vegan lunch. <gasps> Plant-based. Plant-based. We'll take you along with us, let's go. attention to this gorgeous little drink that Renee's got. A little slow brewed organic soda. Oh, that smells delicious. And cheers. Cheers. Happy. <laughs> Everything at this place makes you happy, hey? Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, we totally forgot to mention that the restaurant that we're at is called Izakaya Midori and it's an all plant-based Japanese cuisine and bar on the Gold Coast. Oh my gosh, guys, we've already been here before, which is why we're back. Five star, 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, you wait. The food that we ordered for lunch. I went a little fancier and got a little traditional Japanese iced tea, light tea. ordered an entree and it's a DIY potato bowl. Yes, DIY. We're gonna watch Kerry <laughs> mash up the potato. We have to mash it all together. So we've got our own little bowls. <laughs> Oh my god, this smells so divine. Like, oh seriously. God. Are you sure she meant mix all that together? Not sure, but we are now. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yum. <laughs> Every time we come here, I'm just making a mess of this because I'm hungry. And... Wow. Okay. 
Look at Megger. If you guys are ever on the Gold Coast, even if you're not vegan, I highly recommend this place. It's insane. Everything tastes insane. Our next entree just arrived. We got the tofu tempura sushi. I'll do it. Oh my god, that's the best sushi I've ever had. This is just so like, don't go to sushi train, come here. Life is good. Oh. Thank you. The mains arrived. We've got two mains. We haven't seen them yet, so we're going to see them together already. Yeah. First up. This oh, is the chicken. My goodness. This is the chicken, is not beef. chicken. Chicken, not chicken. Okay, this is the tofu, and then Renee's got oh, the vegan chicken. The vegan chicken. It's like got sweet teriyaki sauce, mayonnaise. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> we literally just jumped back in the car. Really obsessed with this restaurant. All the food is like 10 out. I'm like, is there bad food on the menu? Because I don't think there is. Everything is so delicious. It wouldn't be. Their taste buds are amazing because if you can make a fake chicken taste like fake chicken. <laughs> if you can make fake chicken taste like chicken, feel like chicken. It was a bit weird for me. I actually got some weird vibes eating it because I was kind of yeah, like... Yeah, I was like... <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, let's just say non-vegans would love it. Mm -hmm. And when we're leaving, I overheard another couple and they came from Sydney and they were literally like, Oh my God, we came from Sydney and we've not tasted sushi this good. I'm feeling really blessed because they're so close to home. And I think that mm -hmm. um, if you guys didn't know, Renee and I went on a vegan tour and had a dinner there. And that was the first time we got introduced to these guys. So we went back today because mm, couldn't wait. And oh, we're just so blessed that they're so close to home that we can come and visit. I know. Oh, I just want to bring my entire family here. Here and my friends so any friends or family watching we're, we're coming. coming back yeah we're coming back bringing you all, yeah. all along with us because that's amazing and then they had like a few little vegan items products that you can buy at the front obviously we went all out and <gasps> got some goodies oh. we thought we'd finish the vlog off with a bit of a taste test of these vegan caramels that we just picked up hello look at this vegan caramels uh so and um i picked up a little soy whip apparently this is really good and doesn't even taste like soy <laughs> now i didn't get it to eat it because i'm not a huge whipped cream fan anyway also throwback to our coffee video that we did and we were attempting to make our own whipped cream and putting it on the cup okay that was an epic fail i was still cringe when i watched that but the game's changed now we've got vegan soy ripped whipped cream it's amazing and um stay tuned we'll give this a taste test another day when we make our coffees because we like making coffees on our socials because we're obsessed with coffee <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only reason i got it it wasn't to stick on yeah now we're going to taste test these goodies that wow oh. <gasps> guys look at the packaging guys. it's so cute i love how it says vegan caramel <gasps> Oh, yeah. La, 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 la. It's been an amazing day. So I just have to crack open the yep. door because it's really hot. Oh, it's my fun. gosh. It's even got, like, you know how caramel wrappers have, like, <gasps> two layers? This is vegan. Cheers. Cheers. Look at the size of the serve. Wow. Wow. This day's been amazing. Oh, it's really creamy, but you know how it gets stuck in your teeth and in your mouth and it's really hard to talk? I just shoved it to the side. Oh my gosh, look at that consistency. Wow, still can't get over all of this that I've eaten right now is vegan. This world's changing, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what's nice about eating vegan food? Is that you don't get that tired, heavy feeling after eating a lot of food. Look, look at us. Look at that. Put it in your face. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to finish the vlog off here. I've got caramel stuck in the roof of my mouth. Really Thank you so <laughs> much for coming along today. We've had such a fun time. And um, tag us in your photos. We want to see what you get up to. We like seeing your adventures. We also like getting adventure ideas. Um, our Instagram's Renee and Carrie. We upload on our Instagram every day. And we always like put glimpses of our adventures when we go on our vlogs and stuff, which we did We did on this adventure. Give you a little taste test or a teaser yeah, to our vlog. Do. Thank you for all your amazing support. And keep on, keep on supporting us because we love it. We love you. We are so grateful, seriously. We will We'll see you next week because we upload every week. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. We absolutely adore and love you guys and can't wait to see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shoot mate. Wow. What's he doing? Oh, I thought he was going to kick you. Kick me in the ass. <laughs> Alright.